And you said it yourself, you were working for jobs that were free, uh, that, that didn't pay you at all. Well, the thing, my thing is like, I'm always after value, not money. So right. value is a bigger umbrella than money is. Money is like, you know, you're putting a, like a, an actual title and label onto a service where yeah. value could be completely priceless. So if I'm going to give my time to something or put the time in uh, for free and I'm getting value to me, I was getting paid. So I, I treated it like that. I did. I worked yeah. just as hard as if I was getting paid, like, you know, like a million bucks. I treated getting paid zero dollars. I worked yeah. even harder. Right. So, and I appreciate, I respect that mindset because that's actually something that I'm kind of struggling with too. Like when I started my business recently, uh, 94 productions, it's, it's like, there's jobs where you do it for the love of film. Like you're creating these short films, but you're also doing, but you're also not getting paid. And then you're doing jobs or corporate videos and you do get paid, but there's like a part of me where it's like the, when I go on those film sets, I learned so much like the last film set that I was on, like in terms of lighting and uh, sound and things like that, where, like you said, like you can't put a price on value. And I, I try to, what I'm saying is argue with people like in the arts, you have to sometimes sacrifice the pay for the value. Um, especially if you're put in a position that can be advantageous. Yeah. I think here's the thing. So, look at yourself like a, like a video game character that you have all different stats. Okay. Okay. So, you know, um, if you're going to do that and you're going to look at, um, let's say uh, business conduct, communication, um, portfolio, um, money behavior, um, scheduling, all different categories, whatever it is that you want to do marketing, blah, blah, blah. Um, look at the areas that you're weaker or you don't have enough. And that's where, you can make the, like, you, you can put, like make a, a smart decision and say, you know what, I'm not really there yet on how I'm communicating with clients on how I'd like to be paid for this service. And every time I mm. do a job deep down, I kind of cop out on the rate that I want. And then you feel like shit after when you do the job, because let's say yeah. I'll just make up like a generic number. So let's say you want um, to get paid a thousand bucks, but for some reason you said 500 and you do the job, you've been paid, they like you, and then they're hiring you for the same, but deep down, you know, you ripped yourself off. Yeah. So that's an area that you have to learn how to improve on. Um, and I think until that behavior changes, you'll you outgrow those things too. So when yeah. I was working for free or corporate stuff where I'm like, you know, I'm getting paid for it. So I feel good about it, but I'm not shooting what I want there's a really weird balance with that. And that's like the same thing in life when it comes down to like, you know, you want to eat all the food that you want to eat, but then you're going to feel like shit and gain weight. Like you need to yeah. find that balance with everything, including um, how people pay you. And I learned over the years that you kind of have to tell people how to hire you. You have to tell people how to pay you because everyone is really going to do what's best for, for them. But as, as an artist, there's no yellow brick road for your survival, right? Like you don't even know where you're going in three, three to five years because you can't plan it out. So yeah. it, it becomes very, very tricky. And the only thing that you can really, really do is try to level out all of your statistics. Like you're a video game character. Right. So, you know, like, okay, when I'm dealing with corporate people, I know how to deal with this. When I'm dealing with creative people, I know how to, you know, work with, uh, I can delegate, I can manage this, I can do that. No one, yeah. No one's perfect, but at least if you can like, scale yourself it helps mm -hmm.